Hello, I'm ABX Tweaker and welcome back to the video. So as you're all probably aware, there is a brand new update coming out for Minecraft console probably tomorrow and it's going to contain lots of brand new features like the llama, like the giant bed and like the explorer map. And because of all these giant new features, one of the videos I like to make every update is to, let, you know, a preparation video to let you know how you can be ready for the next update if you're so excited and you want to get ready right now. And this next update is a little bit harder to prepare for because most of the features come in the form of the wooden mansion, but I figured why not try and let you know how you can prepare for title update 54 anyway and that's what I'm doing in today's video. So here are all the ways you can best prepare for this update. You can like it if you do like it because it helps out the channel and let's know you do like these preparation videos. With that said, let's get straight into talking about it. And again, I want to quickly clarify, if you want a wooden mansion, then you're probably going to have to start a new world. You might be able to find it in an existing world in a little corner you haven't explored or like if you expand it, you might be able to, but most of the time you're not going to be able to. You're probably going to want a new world for this because it's giant and the odds of you finding it in a corner are quite low. So with that said, let's talk about the rest of the features though, which we are focusing on. And let's start with the first one, which is one of the more fun ones, but it's one you might be able to do right now. But if you can't, then you, you're going to want to do it because it involves uh, the jukebox. So if you don't have a jukebox and at least one music disc, get that sorted because if you do get this, you'll be able to do party parrots in the new update. So parrots are found in the jungle uh, biome, of course. So go to a jungle biome, you know, make sure you have one, know where it is. And then also get yourself a jukebox and one music disc and you can have party parrots. Again, might seem like a small thing, but it really is a big deal. Also seeds are necessary, but I'm sure you don't care. But yeah, as you can see, chirp, wonderful thing. And it's the thing you get in this update. Let's move on to the second thing you can do to prepare, which is to do of llamas. These are the, I'm so glad they're finally coming to Minecraft. It was a joke for the longest time, like, ha ha ha, llamas, wouldn't that be funny? But here we are, as you can see, llamas coming to Minecraft, uh, and, you know, there's a giant llama up there. But yeah, basically, if you, uh, you know, they're coming to Minecraft in this next update, you'll be able to find them in your existing worlds, but you might want to get some carpet ready for them. You, they, they need carpet instead of a saddle, and, uh, you know, carpet's not an easy thing to come by in its cool colors, like purple or magenta or orange or something like that. So get yourself some orange or brown or gray carpets. Get yourself the carpet color you do want for your llama, and also get yourself some chests, because you're going to need those, and get yourself some leads, because you're going to be able to have some great fun if you do that. So yeah, if you want to prepare for the llama, make sure you have some chests, some amount of carpet, and some leads. Again, they're not, they're for, for me at least, I don't have the my survival world, so that would catch me off guard. I'm going to get ready for that by making those. Next up, we've got the uh, the village map, so the maps for the Willow Mansions. Again, you can kind of repair in your existing worlds in case it does happen. That tree grew quickly, but you can kind of prepare in your existing worlds in case it does happen, but just, you know, you, you might want to do it regardless to find the treasure maps, because it's a fun idea. Basically, uh, try and get ready for villagers by, because, uh, you know, you can't get car talk yet, uh, by having yourself like a, you know, a way which will uh, allow villagers to breed after the update and just have all of the places ready besides the door. So if you don't know, villagers breed based on the number of doors. Doors only count if they have a block above them and there's like a clear inside and outside. There's, I've done a bunch of tutorials before, but if you want to build a giant like apartment building, so like door, 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 etc., just like this and, you know, have lots of doors breed, make sure you build that now and then put the doors in, uh, you know, when the update devs come out, in this case tomorrow, and that way when that happens, a bunch of villagers will breed, a bunch of them will spawn, and you might just find yourself a cartographer. In case you're curious as to what a cartographer is or looks like, uh, one of the brand new, uh, you know, like villager traits you'll find for the uh, white, you know, these guys right here, the white, yeah, what do you want to call that? Like a suit? It covers his entire body, like a white lab coat maybe. Uh, basically, one of the professions they'll be able to be is a cartographer, and if you go to level four trades or higher, you'll be able to find a map which might point you to an ocean monument or might point you to a wooden mansion. It's a really cool feature. It's a thing you'll be able to find because as you can see, this is a weaponsmith, and then this one is like a... Uh, you know, what is this? I guess they're only librarians in white, but they will be able to have other oppressions too. So here's a butcher, uh, here's a armorer, as you can see. They're the same uh, on the outside, but he sells armor, he sells weapons. It's a cool little idea to separate the villagers a bit more, and cartographers will be coming, and you can get them by breeding lots of villagers after the update. Make sure you do it afterwards, because you can't get them right now. Just a fun little fact. So, with that said, let's move on to the next feature, which is the uh, the colored beds. So colored beds, easy one to prepare for, but there's a really interesting thing that you might not realize about the existing beds. So right now, beds are just, you know, red beds are called beds. Beds, but after this update, there'll be red beds, and they won't be the default bed anymore. So if this is something that you want to keep have existing, then what you want to make uh, you want to what you might want to do, sorry, is make a bunch of these beds because red beds are going to be harder to create after this update. You'll even need red dye, or you'll need to have red wool. So if you want to make have, you know if you like red beds, you want to have existing beds, make a bunch of them now because again, it goes from being the bed to being the red bed, and you want to you know again, it might be easier for you to just make it now. Uh, alternatively, you might want to get a bunch of white wool ready, you know, just like have wool and stuff in a chest, uh, or have the wool of the type of bed you want and get those ready so that you can of course you know have like a purple bed like I've got here or you can have anything like that ready for when the update comes out or just get a bunch of white wool and like dyes for the type of bed and you can make all your colorful beds. One final thing you can actually also do with this 
Again, if you really want to, it's a fun idea, is to uh, like have stuff uh, set up because beds will become bouncy, they'll resist some full damage. So if you wanna use beds as like a, 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 a full block or something like that, then you can make a bunch of beds and you can kind of use them in this way. They're not very efficient, but it's a thing you'll be able to do. You'll be able to fall, land on a bed, and it'll be fun. So yeah, brand new features for beds, make sure you're used for them. So next uh, feature we, that you should be preparing for is the uh, the uh, the detector block. The <laughs> I always get confused with this block, block name, the observer block, that's his name. Uh, it has six, uh, stack, uh, six bits of cobblestone, two bits of redstone and never quartz involved. You might have all of these blocks, but the never quartz is one that most people don't keep in its you know regular form, just lying around the world. So just get a stack of this and then I guess like a stack of these other things and you can make yourself a bunch of observer blocks. It's a really cute block and also it has function. And if you want some of it, then make sure you get some of it rather than just like thinking, oh, let's do it off the update. It's a tiny thing, but it's a thing that you might, might want to do after the update does come out. So yeah, just bear in mind, this is called title update 54 and not 55. It was going to be 55 because every update usually has a bug fix, but this is the first time they have blown expectations away and just done it, you know, like three or four weeks after the last one. And yeah, Title W54 coming out probably tomorrow. Again, not guaranteed because this, this, that. Uh, it's going to be really exciting. I'm looking forward to playing it and I hope all of you are too. I'll be making a bunch of videos. Uh, some people have asked me to make a video about my plans and my simple plans are I'll be making, you know, like small tutorials showing off little bits here and there as well as streaming quite a bit. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, like if you liked it, share if you liked it, hit notifications if you are subscribed because that's how you actually see the videos. And uh, I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. So get prepared for TV4. Goodbye.